Roberts, your instructor for the History of Jazz Online. This is your first video to kind of get you going on things, make sure you're looking in the right place, make sure you know what to expect from the course, and to get you going on the right foot. I'm going to turn this video around so you can see what's going on on my screen, and we can talk about this in some detail. Hold on. Okay, so I assume that you got the email that I sent out and you have figured out how to purchase the access code and get yourself registered at the Connect for Education site. And then you've used that, that uh, access code inside Canvas so you can see the curriculum inside Canvas, even though you're actually still kind of looking at it in Connect for Education, but you're in Canvas, right? Okay, so now let's make sure that you're reading the right information and you actually have this stuff under your fingers. Hold on. I realize this is an online class and you kind of think you can do your own thing, but I must insist that you read the darn curriculum. Don't just wing this and think you can make it up on your own. You will not be successful with the course. So I want to point out some things that you should be looking at. Uh, I'm taking you right to this very, very beginning of our course and you see the getting started part. That's what we're looking at right now. Introduction. Click. This is just some information about jazz as you would expect it to be. But more importantly, in fact, I've sent you some of this data already. This little layout of what the course is going to be about, I want to make sure you see. This class is put together in 14 sections, you guys. 14 chunks of material, like 14 chapters of a book. Uh, there's six or seven of them in the first half of the class leading up to a midterm, and the rest of them in the second half of the class leading up to a final. Along the way, there are also four little short writing episodes for you to hand in to me. Um, there are quizzes along the way on each section of this that you will do inside the curriculum. And there's one little concert report performance thing that you have to hand in at the end that's worth a few points as well. All adds up to 100. The most important thing is 30 on the final, 30 on the midterm, 28 on the quizzes, and then those other assignments make up the, uh, the remainder of it. Okay, this is all the courses, course subjects that we'll be covering. Even on this section, there's also just a sample of a little bit of music, like, check this out. Ah, oh, cool. Old-time jazz from the 20s. How about this thing? Bigger band jazz from the 30s. Okay, we'll be talking about that. How about this? This, you'll notice, is a wee problem when it comes to licensing. This track is not available in my country on Spotify. It depends. And by the way, I'm listening to this right now on just a Spotify player, which would be free to you. Those of you guys who want to get Spotify as a player in your real life, on your phones, on your laptop, whatever it is, for you guys as students, it's free, man. Or worst case scenario, five bucks a month. you got to get this for five dollars a month. It's the biggest deal in the history of music. Um, but you've also got more uh, cool jazz things like Miles Davis. We'll talk about this this semester. That would be cool. And we'll even talk about more modern jazz from the 70s, like this Chick Corea tune. This is in your introduction. So uh, the page turns are over here on the right. What else is in your introduction? Well, I want to make sure that you understand these ideas. All right, most of the stuff you know about getting started, check this out. Here's the thing about Spotify. Test it, make sure it's working. When you click a link, make sure that Spotify opens for you in a, in a, a tab of your browser. Okay, let's come back. You need this. You guys, if you can't hear the music, it's a stupid to take this history of jazz class, so make sure that your music is happening. All right. Uh, basic stuff about your, your computer and rig like that. Hey, by the way, you spent 80 bucks on this curriculum. That also enables you to go to the website or email these guys or call them at Connect for Education if you're having problems with transmission of the data. If, if the machine's not working for you, the curriculum's not behaving itself, call these guys and let them troubleshoot you. I'm the music guy, the teacher guy. I don't do tech. But these guys, for the price of your curriculum, they do do tech for you. Okay. Moving on, read this stuff, you guys. Read who wrote the curriculum. Make sure you understand the grading ideas. How many percentage points each part of the class is worth. Um, tech support we just talked about. And this will bring us up to one last little PDF doc. A relative review of what's going on, what the assignments will be like, 
the tools that are available to you on every chapter, and a lot of these are super cool, little stashes of videos and practice exams and, and listening audio things, real cool stuff that pops up at the beginning of each of your chapters. You can refer to them or not, but I suggest you click on everything that's live, man. Get everything out of this course that you possibly can, okay? When you have read all of these pages, then and only then are you ready to actually start in on the curriculum with section one, the introduction to the thing. Um, this is where I want you guys to get to. Wow, we have a couple of days before the class officially starts. It would be awesome if you are ready to rock and roll or to jam and jazz with everything that I've just showed you by Monday morning of the first day of class. Okay, that's our plan. Talk to you soon.